Hi, video is an excellent way to record projects at school or to create new resources or for children to record work and share it with others. So I'm going to show you the principles of using a video camera. Of course, there are many different makes and models of video camera available. Here are four of them, but the basics should still apply. Let's look at this one. To get started, you need to turn the camera on. Press and hold down the button on top and rotate the disc to record mode, usually represented by a picture of a red camera. Once the camera is on, open or take off the lens cover and then place your hand in the strap like this. Now to start recording. Most cameras have a record button positioned by the right thumb, usually marked with a red dot. Pressing this once starts the recording. Now I'm going to film the opening sequence to my blockbuster movie, Sammy the Snail. While the camera's recording, the screen displays a red dot or the letters REC for record. To stop the recording, simply press the button again and the icons will disappear. So I've recorded some footage of my leading mollusk. I can review it by placing the camera in playback mode. On this model, you do this by rotating the switch to the green play image. With older cameras, like this one, that record to tape, you have to fast forward and rewind the tape until you get to the section that you want to review but most newer cameras store video in memory, making it possible to jump directly to the clip you want. Some cameras do this through a touch screen, but this one uses a small joystick on the back. I angle the stick to select a clip and then press the stick in to make it play. That clip looks great to me, so now I want to copy it onto my computer. Older cameras that use tapes will need software to import the videos, but with this camera, we can simply copy and paste the clips we wish to use. To do this, I have to plug in this USB lead with the smaller plug connected to the camera. And the larger plug connects to the computer. Your computer should then pop up this window asking you what you'd like to do. If this doesn't happen, you can access the files through my computer on the start menu. But I'm going to click on this button to view the files. Now unfortunately, the folders that appear rarely have helpful names, so it may be necessary to open a few folders before you find the clips you want. Right, here are the clips I want, so I'm going to copy those and then paste them into my videos within my documents, but you could paste them anywhere on your computer. Now I can double click on a file to play it back. There it is, good old Sammy. If, for example, I was doing a presentation to my class, I could embed the clip in an interactive whiteboard file, or I could upload it to a video sharing website like TeacherTube. If you want to know how to do either of these things, check out my how-to videos on video sharing and embedding videos in PowerPoint. Good luck making your own Hollywood blockbuster movies.